Hey, Puff Cuff family, it is Sita, founder and inventor of the Puff Cuff, here to talk to you about what size do you need? I know everybody gets to the website and they're like, ooh, I don't know what size to buy. And I think she has four or five sizes. I don't know which one is fit for my hair. So I wanted to come and give you a little bit of guidance. This is the original. Then after the original, we have the junior. The next one is the mini. The micro. And then coming later this summer, we will have the teeny. As far as any puff cuff goes, no matter what the size, the teeth are not meant to glide through your hair. The teeth are just meant to hold the hair in place. So if you tried to do this and use it like you would a banana clip, you got stuck right there. That's not how it's supposed to be used, ladies and gentlemen. You're supposed to gather the hair first, wherever you want that puff. One arm in, other arm in, clip it. Let your hair go. Your hair expands into the puff cuff, putting outward pressure this way, which keeps the hooks closed. But the puff cuff will never put pressure inward on your head, so it will never cause hair damage. It will never cause a headache. I'm going to gather only the front part of my hair, my bangs, basically. This could be anywhere on your head. Gather my hair kind of tightly, kind of not, not so I'm pulling, so it's like, ee, not like that. Just enough to where it feels secure. The base of my puff, when I pull my hand off, is like this big. So, I'm gonna use probably the teeny in order to hold it secure. Remember, gather your hair first. Do not use the puff cuff to gather your hair. There we go, that's it. That easy. It's never going to feel tight because it's not supposed to feel tight. It may feel secure, but not tight. If it feels too loose for some people, they will install the puff cuff upside down with the teeth facing this way. When you take them out, all of them work the same. You push the arms together, pop. Pop means it's open, not broken. Open it wide and take it out. Did you see since my hair is longer, I kind of held my hair together while I took the puff cuff out. That's in order to avoid getting your hair tangled in the puff cuff when you're trying to take it out. So gather a little bit more hair and then we're gonna see what size puff cuff we need. Holding it pretty taut, I'm gonna pull my hand off of the hair, size the base of my fist and the base of my puff was about this big. So then I would use the mini. Long hair can be gathered into a small circle. The longer your hair, you're gonna use a smaller puff cuff. That's the mini. And see the amount of hair that's gathered at the base that kind of dictates the size puff cuff you use. Short hair should not be pulled and gathered into a small circle. The shorter the hair, the larger puff cuff you need. Now, since my hair is longer, I am going to gather it all up into one puff. My fist is about this big with all of my hair gathered. So then that's when I'm gonna use my junior. Open it wide, just like that. One arm in, other arm in, hook it closed, let your hair go. So the junior is actually going to give me height on my puff. I'm gonna show you what my hair looks like using the original puff cuff instead of the junior puff cuff. So again, open wide, one arm in, other arm around, close it, let the hair go. You see how I end up with a fuller puff than what I had with the other one. So in essence, the puff cuff is just holding your hair in place. It's not cinching it down. Anything like this, if it changes its original shape when it's in your hair, that means it's cinching and causing damage. Nothing should have to change shape and get larger because it's just putting inward pressure on your hair. The puff cuff, when it's in your hair, it never will change its shape. So in essence, it's holding your hair in place. If you ever put your puff cuff in and it's feeling a little too snug, 
then all you gotta do is lift it up and push your hair down so it let goes from the teeth all around. And then it'll should feel more comfortable. We get a lot of comments that puff puff does not hold your hair tight enough. Who wrote the rule that we have to pull our hair tight? Nobody. We've just all been conditioned to think that we have to pull our hair tight. And pulling our hair tight is not gonna do anything but exacerbate tension, alopecia, thinning edges. But this is how you can get the tight look without it feeling tight. Same as usual, use the puff cup. Misting spray bottle. Because your hair is best and easily manipulated while it's wet than when it's dry. The next step is to grab whatever styling gel you like, smooth it around your edges. You notice I'm not combing through my hair. Puff cuffs work best when your hair is at its most dense or most curliest state. So again, you're gonna gather your hair wherever you want that puff to go. And I'm gonna use the junior puff cuff. One arm in, other arm in, overlap the hooks, and then you let your hair go. So we're gonna do these edges. You're gonna take our silk edge wrap, and you're gonna put it around your edges. So this is how you get the tight look without it feeling tight. Puff Cuff also works with twists, locks, and braids. Whether they're yours or you bought them, Puff Cuff is also so comfortable you can sleep in it. Serious tip, always read the how to use instructions or watch a video. It'll limit the frustration and you'll always have success with using your Puff Cuff. Use Puff Cuff to pineapple your curls at night. It's a lifesaver. Use multiple micro puff cuffs or use multiple teeny puff cuffs to make yourself an awesome frohawk. The more sizes of puff cuff you have, the more styles you can create.